Greetings everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install latest Automatic 11.11 web UI, Dreamboot extension, CUDA and CUDN and DLL libraries on RAMPOT. If you don't have a good GPU, then RAMPOT is best place to use Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 web UI. I have prepared an amazing GitHub readme file. Every command is written here and I will show you every one of them. Let's begin with starting our RAMPOT. You can use this link to register or login. Click login. Let's go to the community cloud. I usually prefer RTX 3090 because it is working very fast and very well for Dreamboot training. But for this tutorial, let's use RTX 4090. Click deploy. Customize deployment. Change your volume disk like 110 GB. Select your template from here. Type stable and select stable diffusion web automatic when you are watching this tutorial it could be higher version but always use web automatic click continue click deploy this will be manual installation let's also start another instance for automatic installation because i prepared automatic installation script as well so with the same settings click continue click deploy and i will name this as auto install the automatic installation is just two script execution the scripts are posted on our Patreon page. Open this link. Download the attached SH files from here. Connect your Jupyter Lab. Don't worry, I have prepared step by step installation as well, and I will show you that too. Both in automatic installation and in manual installation, first you need to change Python relauncher.py. So to do that, enter inside Stable Diffusion Web UI. By the way, currently it looks like my web browser is bugged so i will restart it because when i double click it doesn't enter inside it or oh, it entered so maybe it was loading some of the scripts open the relauncher.py and copy this here change this line save and restart the pod which is the auto install this is only necessary for one time then connect the manual installation jupyter lab enter inside stable diffusion Open the relauncher.py file. Let me show you closely. So relauncher.py. Change this line. Save. And restart port. This is only necessary when you first time build these ports. You don't have to do them anymore. Okay, let's connect the JupyterLab again. So after you have downloaded these script files, go to your workspace. Click this upload files icon. Let me zoom in. Click it. Select the files. Open them open a new launcher new terminal make sure that you are in this folder currently we are in the workspace copy the first command here and hit enter and it will automatically start first part of installation then let me show you the manual installation let's connect the jupyter lab of the manual pod we will execute every step one by one and never skip any of the steps so the first step is this one copy it go to your workspace open a new terminal Paste the command and wait until it is completed. Once it is completed, you will see cursor is blinking like this. Then copy the next command. Hit enter, copy paste and hit enter. Then copy the next command. Copy paste and hit enter and be patiently wait until it starts web UI instance. Meanwhile, automatic installation is going on. First part of automatic installation is completed. How do I know? You see running on local URL. That means that you can move to the next stage. Click plus icon, open a new terminal, copy the second command, hit enter and automatic installation will be 100% completed. Let's continue with our manual installation. In the manual installation, we see the same URL, then we can continue. Click plus icon, open a new terminal inside workspace folder. Now we are at this command, copy it, copy paste and hit enter. This will display you the latest version of Xformers, hit install. Xforms equal equal and type the latest version and hit enter. Automatic installation by default uses version 20. However, you can apply same thing on automatic installation as well. I will show you. So we have installed the latest development version of Xformers. Then move to this script, copy, copy paste and hit enter and patiently wait. You see it is even automatically clicking yes for you. I have prepared this scripts meticulously to make it easy to use them and automatic installation is going on 
Automatic installation is completed 100% it started. Let's test it. So click connect, connect with 3000 port and we see the Dreamboot extension. Let's check out the versions. Okay, you see currently it is using Python 3.10.6, Torque version 2.0.1 with CUDA 11.8, the latest CUDA version, Xformers 0020. Okay, in the manual installation we can continue. So the next command is this one, copy it, paste it and hit enter and wait. This step is also completed. Let's continue with the next step. This one, copy it, paste it. It is also completed. Then copy this one. This will download the latest via file. And then you need to change web UI user.sh file because otherwise it may override the requirements of Dreamboot installation. However, if you need to install other extensions, first install them, then make this change. So go to the stable diffusion, web UI user.sh file, edit this part and change it and save so as i said if you want to install another extension you need to remove this install it and add it back however installing another extension may break your dreamboot installation then you need to re-execute these steps and we are ready to use copy this command open a new terminal paste it and it will start web ui on the manual installation so we will always use this command to start our web UI instance with that way you will be able to see what is happening in this command line interface okay web UI instance started on manual installation as well let's connect with 3000 port so the left one is automatic installation and the right one is manual installation first let's set up our default stable diffusion via this improves the output quality significantly apply settings let's also apply settings in this one as well and let's do a speed test so the automatic installation has xformers version 20 i have a simple prompt batch count sampling steps hit generate and this is the manual installation it has latest version of xformers 21 point development 549 let's type it as well and hit generate okay currently we are seeing the it per second of automatic installation it is about 24 to 25 it per second and let's check out the manual installation it is almost same for manual installation as well 24 to 25 it per second looks like there isn't significant difference between x formers actually the manual installation has 24.54 and 24.39 let's compare with automatic installation 25 okay it is displayed very bad because i changed the resolution okay 24.29 23.72 okay 23.32 looks like xformers is making a difference so let me show you how to upgrade to the latest version of xformers in automatic installation let's open a new terminal copy this specific command paste it and then type same as we did copy this type like this pip install xformers equal equal latest version okay it is installed now i will restart both instances and show you how to start from beginning so let's stop let's start let's stop let's start okay let's connect to the automatic installation connect to jupyter lab after restart you need to use this command copy it this is also written in the very bottom of the readme file open a new terminal this will kill the automatically started instance and start a new instance in this command prompt in this command line this will kill the previously started instance and open a new instance in this command line window so you will be able to see everything it is getting started and you see by default now it is using this best via file okay it is started let's connect with port 3000 okay test car and let's see the speed let's also connect to manual installation as well okay wow now we are getting very terrible speed why let's see what could be the reason okay we have torque cuda xformers and our it per second is very bad is using very minimal amount of gpu vram as well i have found why the it per second dropout so i closed the 
pods and I am restarting them. After you turn off your pod and restart it, it deletes the runtime folder. Therefore, one of the very crucial improvement we are making is gone. Now I will show you how to fix it. So both pods are started. Let's connect them with JupyterLab. How did I found this? I found this with the help of one of our members in our Discord channel. That is why you should join our Discord channel because we have excellent people in our Discord channel. Our Discord channel link posted here. Click it and from here join our server. We have over 3000 members. Okay, pods are started. Let's restart our web UI instance and I will demonstrate you. Normally we use this command to restart. So I will restart it in both of the RAM pods. Okay, let's start testing with the automatic installation. It doesn't matter which one because they're identical right now. Okay, fast car and batch cut and sampling steps. Right now we are getting 13.50 IT per second. It will be same with the manual installation as well. Therefore, let me also show you first. Then we can continue to how to improve them. Connect. So this is auto install port, 13.90 IT per second. This is manual install port. It will be same right now. Let me just show you first. Okay, it is also getting 13.50 or 70. After you turn off your port or after you restart your port, it will delete the runtime. So you need to execute this command this will install the latest could and dll files and let me show you the speed you will gain so i open an xmd window here i copy paste it like this i just wait okay it has installed the latest good and files let's generate and let's compare the speed now you see we are getting 25 it per second on the default could and then we are getting about 14 it per second and after you execute my could and an install command we are getting 25 it per second you see it is almost double speed this is huge speed increase okay let's see them side by side on the upper we are seeing the default could and an version that comes with the default template on the bottom you see the speed of my version that i have shown you how to install so don't forget this this will speed up your inference time significantly probably also your training times as well this is huge improvement let's also test higher batch size okay i make the batch size 8 and i will make the batch size 8 here as well okay let's hit generate now we will see batch size 8 okay you see in the batch size 8 there is still significant difference and let's calculate the it per second we are getting okay 6.16 multiplied with 8 we are getting 49 it per second it is almost 50 it per second this is huge it per second with 8 batch size we are able to get these speeds let's also see the vram usage the vram usage is very insignificant still i will update this readme file if it be necessary you will find this readme file link in the description of the video hopefully i am going to make my master workflow to show you super photorealistic image generation with dreamboot if you don't have a good gpu then you could follow this tutorial rent a ram pod and apply it that is why i have made this video today my realistic photos i am telling this kind of realism you see this is a raw output without any resize any upscaler hd resolution fix or other things this is raw output of the new model new workflow that i have found hopefully i will show you that i hope you have enjoyed please like subscribe support me on patreon your patreon support is significantly important for me without your support i wouldn't be able to continue producing high quality videos i wouldn't be able to do this much research if you also leave a comment like the video share it i would appreciate it very much you can also support me by joining from here don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter you will find the links from here hopefully see you in another amazing video